Hello students. Today we are going to look at the Live UA map application and website that we will be looking at for studying our current events. Now remember in this class you will be utilizing current events during your discussions as well as your advertise I'm sorry as as well as your assignments. I'm saying advertisements here subconsciously because one just popped up. And that's another item here as well. On the topic of advertisements, there is a mobile version of this, which you could get on any app store for free, and the website. Now, I'm looking at the free version right now, and the free version here has advertisements. So if you pay, I think it's like either $3 or $10 a month, you could alleviate the problem with the advertisements. but Nonetheless, the free version is fine because all we really need for this course is the news live, the live news that we see occurring in this region, what's going on, the details, and just a bigger picture of what is actually happening in these parts of the world. So let's explore first how to look at a region. So on the top bar here, we notice that there are a few locations that you could check and, and study. On default, it automatically goes to the Ukraine. But let's go for select regions. And let's look for Syria. Just to give you an idea, just check this out. Um, we have all these regions that are on the website. So. For your fourth module, when you get to choose your own region to analyze, pay attention to any one of these that interest you. You could go and study uh, the Ukraine, Israel and Palestine conflict, or ISIS, anything that interests you. But in this course, we will be looking at Syria in module one, Venezuela in module two, and unrest in the Kashmir in model, module three. So in each of these modules, you are going to be expected to analyze uh, news sources and current events from these locations. So we're going to select Syria. Now don't mind the ads as they come up because again this is the free version. Our goal here is just to study and look at the interface. So this application is a great source for us because it gives us the bigger picture Geographically, we are given the uh, location of where the current events are happening in Syria. And there's a nice little miniature map, as you can see here. Now, in the nation of Syria, you could see that there are different locations being uh, kind of covered. They have a color to them, right? So there's red. There's blue down here, there's green, there's a yellow. There's two greens, rather. See that? So each of these colors signify something. And they will generally, if it's a conflict, signify who, which, which side of the conflict, which side of the war owns this territory. Okay? So one of the first things you're going to need to be aware of when you're looking at a live UA map is what do these colors mean? And also another thing, what do all these little icons mean? Okay, so you see there's red icons, there's blue icons, there's gray icons. What do they mean? So in order to find that, we need to look at the key. So I just selected the key option, and this is what we see. Quite a few colors here, but let's look at the more prominent ones. Red is pro-Assad forces Syrian army, basically one side of the war, the Syrian government. So wherever you see red, that is the Syrian government and all the locations that they control. Also, it means any little bubble here, which these little bubbles are events, something that actually happened on the ground. If it's red color, that means it's associated with pro-Assad forces. So if I just scroll my mouse over this particular one, we see a Russian robot, or a uh, Uran-6 robot, 
demining in Syria, Palmyra, and soldier operators are quick with uh, passive exosuits. So it looks like um, there's a mission going on for the pro-Assad forces, as well as a fire bre breaking out in a Damascus tower in downtown Damascus. So these are pro-Assad events occurring. Now we see blue is U.S. We see brown. This is more of an American thing. Now green is important to the rebel forces. Yellow, it's this whole region here, the Kurds. So please just pay attention. And throughout the readings, you will identify what each of these are. Also, it's your responsibility to research on your own what each of these items are. And you could use that. You could do that through academic sources, scholarly articles, or even just Google searches to identify their relationships. And as we go down, more specifically, they tell you the areas that are controlled by color and the icons. You're not required to memorize what each of these are, okay? But these are all the types of events that could occur. All right, so really when we look at the key, it's designed to help us read the map quicker and assign what these colors mean. Now let's go back to the live news. I just clicked the live news function and it will go in chronological order, meaning from the most recent event that just happened to, you know, more events that happened in the past. So uh, it currently looks like the most recent event is a photograph taken of a Russian Uran-6 robot during a demining in Syria, Palmyra, and the soldier operator equipped with a passive exosuit. So when I was reading that, I didn't have the context. It was tough to understand. But now I see, oh, it's a photograph. And you could explore these sources as they show up. You could go to the, le the legitimate source. I recommend opening that up in another tab. Now it looks like this source, what LiveUA map does is it scans social media and other news sites and posts the current events that are occurring. So you could actually go into further detail on the current event that happened four hours ago. Looks like a Russian robot is getting rid of a mine in uh, an old Syrian city, and we have a Russian, it looks like a bomb specialist. See that? So this is an example of a current event you could utilize in a discussion asking questions like what is the Russian what what is this Russian bomb squad doing in Iran in uh, Syria? What's their role here? There's a lot of equipment on the ground. Russian soldiers are on the ground. What explains their presence? You could also scroll further down and view um, other events that happens. Okay. So we see five hours ago a crew of white helmets. Now, white helmets are, I believe they work with the rebel forces. Now, if you don't know what one of these are, please feel free to Google. Just give yourself context. And they, they basically, from what I recall in this moment, is they go and help wounded people. So white helmets survive multiple attempts to hit them as they respond to injuries in surroundings of Marat al-Numan Idlib. So if you want to get more resources remember you could always look at the source explore this in detail there's even some video footage you could watch if you'd like some comments now the comments would be great to even incorporate in your discussions what are people thinking or reacting to this like how are people reacting to this current event but more importantly what I want to show you is to find out where specifically this event is occurring so we could get a broader picture of what's happening in Syria. All I want you to do is just click the icon and it will highlight where this is specifically happening geographically. And you could zoom in, see the zoom in function. You could also, um, I believe, transform this whole map to satellite. But you can see right here that we see this town in green territory, which means, if I look at my key, green is rebel forces. 
So these are those fighting against Assad. This rebel-held city is being bombed by Assad's artillery. And we have more details. White helmets are trying to save those wounded. So this is just an example of how you can navigate this map. And also, when you're looking at this, keep in question, like in particularly for Syria, this city is kind of far away from the front line. And you could tell this is the front line because this is where the green, the rebel, meets the red, Assad. And notice just what are some trends? What are some patterns that are happening here in Syria? As you can see, the rebels are being bombed by Assad's forces. This is happening quite frequently as well. So in short, when you use this source, always understand what the colors mean. Red, green, yellow, blue, what nations stand for each, what faction side for each. And notice all of the events that are occurring, where they're happening. And just keep in mind, look, each of them have a story. And when you zoom out, you could really get a sense of what's happening. And my God, <laughs> all the bombings that are happening in this region, you can tell the war is happening here. But this is just one little guide for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, ask a question. Submit a response to the Ask a, que a Question format, and I'll be happy to answer anything or any inquiries you have with this site. Thank you very much.